Hey guys, it's George Diamond Yard Sports Cards. I'm here at my buddy Eric's house. We have a 162 card uh, PSA submission reveal. Um, I know the grades. He has not seen the grades yet. Half the cards are his, 81 cards, and 81 cards are mine. Um, we submitted this back in September, or I'm sorry, August. It was inputted, inputted in uh, October, and so we got it back last week. So we're real excited to share it. It's be kind of a long video, so let's get to the cards. Here we go. This is my buddy Eric over here. Good to see you guys. Love that shirt, man. <laughs> Size does not matter. So here we go. Um, we look down here, got a lot of boxes, uh, nine total boxes of, uh, of PSA graded cards. So I'm gonna adjust the camera real quick here, guys, so it's steady, and then we'll get started, okay? Um, come on over, there we go. Um, okay, so Azure's E, I'm gonna start here. Uh, these are 81 of my cards, and let's go ahead and get them out. You can see we got vintage. This is a modern submission, so everything from 72 all the way till 2016. And basketball, football, baseball, there's a tennis card, there's golf. Eric submitted some, what, Tigers? Yeah, so 2001 for deck. Okay. Uh, Woods. Yeah. So I'm gonna just get all these slabs out so we're ready to go. Um, the unbox, the great unboxing. And I'll go through mine. I need to go through this. Yes. All right, so first one. Rod Carew, 73 tops and a PSA seven. Happy about that. Nice. George Brett. 77 tops, PSA 8, solid. Ricky Henderson, 82 tops, PSA 9, real happy about that. I knew it wasn't going to get a 10, but I figured I might as well try to sub it. This was just for fun. Jose Canseco, PSA 7, Donruss rookie. There was This car looks great, but there's something on his neck right here, and I tried to get it off using all of my talents. Couldn't get it off, and he got a 7. Barry Bonds, Lear's Hottest Stars. PSA 9, thought that was a 9. I thought I had an inside shot at getting a 10, but didn't really expect a 10 on it. This was uh, King Griffey, 90 tops. There was an issue with the upper right corner. I knew that. Uh, I thought they might overlook it, but they didn't, and that's fine. It's an 8. Uh, these were uh, 2001 Fleer tradition. We bought two cases, and I submitted every Ichiro I had and every Pujols in different orders. So this is the first one, Ichiro, Mint 9. Fine with that. Another Ichiro, rookie, mint nine. Happy with that too. Open for a 10 on one of these at least, and there you go, 10. PSA 10 Ichiro rookie. Pretty happy with that. Absolutely, that's a $300 card all day. Next card, Ichiro, gem mint 10. Another 10, real pumped. And wow. then Ichiro, mint nine. So not too bad, three nines and two tens. Then we had 2001 Fleer Pujols, rookie, hoping for at least 110, and I got a 10. Sweet. Right? <laughs> that was wow. good. Another Pujols rookie, wow. nine. And then the last one, nine. I submitted CC Sabathia from the same set. Uh, just, I thought these were the best looking two in the group. And this one got a 10. I'm real pumped about that. And then this one got a 10. So, pretty happy about those CCs. Ichiro 2001 Upper Deck Evolution E-Card Classics. They have this card and it has a jersey, um, but this is just the regular one and it got a 10. So another one Ichiro I was happy with. Ichiro did really well in this submission area. <laughs> uh, Julio Urias. Look at the shine on the Urias. Anyway, it got an eight. This is a gold refractor rookie. Uh, it's numbered to 50. I knew though there was an issue. I think there's a line going up it or something like that. And so I figured it wouldn't, if they overlooked it, it'd get a 10, but if they didn't. 2013 Trout. Gem Mint 10. Happy with that one. Wow. Uh, let's go to some basketball. Ultra. 97 Ultra. Second year Kobe got an 8. That's okay. These cards are tough to grade. There's lots of chipping on them. Uh, you can tell lots of chipping. This one was happy with. 97 Ultra, PSA 9, Kobe. And this was a big card. 
97 Ultra Gold Medallion in a nine. Carb is going for over a thousand, but now I think it's down to like 600, but still pumped about that. That's a big car. That's a right good car. There. That's a big car. Duncan, wow. uh, Duncan Rookie, 97 Ultra in an eight. Just happy to get these Timmy slabbed. This is a gold medallion in an eight. I figured they wouldn't do better than eights again because of the chipping and stuff like that. I pulled these from a box. I was foolish. I had a couple, I had two boxes. I opened one and I sold the other one. Shouldn't have. This Akeem, I was hoping for a 10 on. I didn't really see anything wrong with it, but it got a nine. Still not bad. Beautiful Hakeem card. What a player. This Pipper, I thought this Pipper had a chance at a 10, but shows you what I know about these Ultras. It got an eight gold medallion, but I was fine with that. This card was cool. Uh, found some old packs. Michigan State Collegiate Collection Magic. And when I pulled this one, I said, man, that card's a 10 all day. And thankfully it got a 10. So I was happy with that. The pops super low on these. Again, though, they're third-party cards. They're not, you know, not uh, super popular, but uh, hence the low population report. Michael Jordan Victory. 2003 Upper Deck Victory. Had a box of Upper Deck Victory. 2003 opened it. And of course, I didn't get a LeBron. He's got Jordan here, he got a nine. This Jordan where he's pointing and looking agitated, probably because he's on the Wizards. <laughs> Things are coming to an end. <laughs> he gets an eight. This Timmy got a nine. I thought this Timmy had a chance at a 10, uh, but it's still a nice card. Uh, Frank Thomas, clear update. So this is interesting. Um, I had cracked a case of these. Pick the best ones. Seven. How the heck is it a seven? I don't know. Maybe they gave it the treatment. Um, eight that's not so slick hopefully things are going to turn around on those 73 rows in a six this is a card i've had since i was a kid i just figured it was a good time to sub it uh, i thought it wouldn't do better than a five but it got a six happy with that 90 flare update shilling gem mint 10 frank thomas gem mint 10 hey. right got a 10. next frank thomas gem mint 10 Next, Frank Thomas, Gem 10. Wow. And these aren't super expensive, right? But it's nice to have them. Well, no, but... Last one, Gem Mint 10. So I got four out of six 10s on the Thomases. Happy about the shilling. So let's go with some football here. Randy Moss, Pacific Vanguard, Mint 9. Uh, I thought this had a chance, an outside shot at a 10. I have a Jerry Rice Vanguard. Had a, bo a box of my cracked. Didn't get a Brady because the Bradys are numbered and hard to get. This card was a huge card for me in the submission. 97 scoreboard, Tony Gonzalez, rookie card. Um, there are no, no PSA 10s. I had two boxes of these. I cracked one, pulled the Gonzalez, and it got Gem Mint 10. You're looking at the only 10, folks. <laughs> it's a 101. Happy about that. Brady Tops Tribute, Gem Mint 10. Kind of a cool card. Uh, might as well get your Brady's graded. This card does not have any 10s. It was an old throwback uh, Michael Vick card. Don't grade too many Michael Vicks, but uh, this got a Gem Mint 10, 2005 Vick. I figured it would, I mean, it looked real nice to me. I think that's 76 tops, 75, 75 tops football uh, throwback. Cool basketball cards here. I was super happy with these basketball cards in general. Julius Sticker, near Mint 8. Had this since I was a kid. Took the pantyhose to the back of it to get the wax off, of course. And so I was fine with that Julius in an eight. Big Julius Serving fan, as you guys know, who watch my channel. Um, and that's a pretty big card in an eight. Yeah, it's not bad. Larry Bird, it's PSA seven. Um, Pete Maravich, 79 tops run here. There's some good cards here. Maravich got an eight. It's a little bit low, a little bit on to the right. Still a nice Pete. Moses Malone, PSA eight. Thought that was gonna get between an eight and a nine. Happy with that. Kareem. Series of creams here, near mint eight. Happy with that. Another near mint eight. Pretty excited about that one. And then Julius Irving. These are tough cards to grade. And this one got an eight. And then this one got a nine. So this is a tough card to find in a nine. Um, pops super low. I don't even, I can't even find a, a nine that's sold in the last year of the doctor. Of course, there's Wes Unsold on the card who seems to be on every Julius Irving card getting totally worked over all the time. <laughs> he is. He's on just about every 70s basketball card of anybody. He's getting worked over. This is a McHale rookie, 
Mere Mint or a Mint Nine. I was happy with that one. Second year Larry Bird. Near Mint Seven. Fine with that. You know, you, at some point you just got to submit these cards. These were from packs. I pulled these from packs that I bought like 10 years ago. This is a seven of a magic. I, I know these are off centering wise, but figured why not? Um, Fleer 90 All-Stars. I was hoping for better than this on this Jordan. It got an eight. Uh, maybe it's the centering. You know, I always look for the centering with the, the stars at the bottom and then the back. I think this one's, this one's probably high. Not much space there. Anyway, it got an eight. Uh, Magic, 90 Fleer, 91 Fleer. I was hoping for a 10 on this one, uh, got a nine. Jordan, 91 Fleer, again, hoping for a 10 on this one, got an eight. And then Jordan, 91 Fleer, this one got a 10. Now, this card's actually more rare than the other Jordan I showed you, so this card's not bad. Um, so happy to get a 10 on that one. Going back to some Trouts here, and Eric, you're gonna be up soon here. All right. Uh, 2013 Trout. Gem Mint 10, 2013 Trout, Gem Mint 10. Good run here. Opening day, Trout, second year, Gem Mint 10. Happy with that, real happy with that. Mini, uh, I didn't have high expectations for this one, frankly, and it, it didn't disappoint, it got an A. <laughs> so, uh, 2015 Mike Trout, Gem Mint 10. Uh, these are some cards I threw in, 72 Top Seaver. Got a five, still a nice card. 72 tops Gibby, got a six, was fine with that. Again, this was bulk submission, guys, so these cards at the time were, I think, nine, nine fifty a card? Yeah, nine, 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 yeah, nine, yeah. nine fifty. I just threw this bread in. Uh, the other one was better, obviously, it got an eight. This one I knew was, was hoping for a seven, got a six. And this Eck, second year Eck, got a seven. I was surprised, I thought that was an eight, but whatever. And this Federer card, this is funny. This Federer card went bananas, and I had this Federer card for years because I opened some packs. And I mean, in a PSA 10, it was going for crazy money. And then a PSA 9, not bad either. Thought this had a chance at a 10, but it got a 9, and I was fine with the 9, but, but boy, uh, you know, love to get a 10. But of course, this card has just plummeted. So it's still like maybe a $100 card, maybe a $60 card somewhere in there. So in the background, you can see there some exhibits cards. Eric and I, uh, mine is the only one, that's, the stand's the only one there, us or his. So E, go ahead and fire away on your submission. Well, I will jump in here and I'll let you know, guys, that I looked about two months ago just to remember what I had even submitted. Since then, uh, I have forgotten what I submitted, so and I haven't looked like George did to see what the grades were and stuff, so you're going to find out the same time I find out. I don't know if there's any specific order here or not, but here we go. Well, we're going to start out good. Uh, George and I had bought 20 plus years ago, we bought a case of 89 Tops traded football. And we decided, oh, I don't know, six months ago or so to start cracking some of them. And because the Barry had gone up, Dion gone up, Aikman gone up, so. I submitted uh, several, so did he, and... Uh, yeah, I have some I didn't get to, they're probably mixed in. Yeah, they're mixed in another box, but uh, we'll get we'll get back to his in a little bit. So first one is a 10, Barry in a 10. Can't go wrong with Barry in a 10. Oh, we're gonna go on a run here, folks. <laughs> another Barry in a 10. Nice. Love the Barry's in 10s. Aikman in a 10. It's going. <laughs> wow. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Dion and a 10. Giving some love on some 80s football. Some the, love the top on... reports on these are really high in 10 still, but you know, it's, these are great cards. These are great cards and they're great Hall of Famers. Another Dion and a 10. You on a run? <laughs> and my run has just stopped. I no longer have the runs. A Dion and a nine, nice. still okay with that because we're gonna go right back to another Dion and a 10. This one is definitely disappointing, but I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I was thinking maybe an eight, maybe a nine. Drew Bledsoe, rookie, got a six. So it's uh, worth less than the plastic that's holding it. It's gonna be ups and downs. Eh? Ups and downs in this one. This is one that I pulled out uh, of a yard sale that I bought several hundred thousand cards out of. 
Excalibur, I'd never even heard of it before. Steve Young got a nine, that's not too bad, for 97. There's another one of the Excaliburs, this is Brett Favre, also got a nine. Upper Deck Black Diamond, Troy Aikman, Diamination. Uh, that got a nine as well. I thought it looked like a 10 to me, but uh, there's gotta be a corner issue or a little bit of chipping in the foil or something to, it's a tough card for sure. Yeah, those foil cards. This is a good one, however. Uh, this is the 98 uh, Collector's Edge Masters. It's a checklist, but it's still Peyton Manning Rookie, and that got a 10. That's I, That might be the only 10 of that card. I can't remember for sure. Here's the regular card from that same set of Peyton Manning. Uh, just got a nine, but still uh, second year, good second year card. Diamination. Hall of Famer. Domination. Little Jerry Rice Spotlight Pinnacle Cup Club Collection. Just got an eight. Another one tough with the foil on it there. I'm sure it's got some chipping or something like that. Whoa. I was not expecting this. I thought it was a good card. Uh, this is another one that came from that yard sale that I picked up right there. 2000 second year, uh, 2000 tops total. LeBron James got a 10. I thought it had a shot, but I was really thinking it was going to get a 9. Uh, super duper low pop on this card. I think there's only like, with this one, I think there's only 6 graded total. Might be the only 10, or maybe, maybe there's one other one. Nice. 96 All Sport, classic All Sport. Little Kobe got an 8. Thought it was a little nicer than that. They've been brutal lately, but we there's some tens here, you know. A lot of tens going on so far. 96 All Sport as well. This is the Kobe Bryant checklist. Still the uh, rookie checklist from 96. Got a nine. I'm all right with that on the checklist. Still worth hanging on to. Another one of the checklists. Same card. This one got an eight. Ninety-seven scoreboard here. Kobe as well. Talking sports. Got a seven. <laughs> and I'm still all right with it. Oh. We had other Kobe's. They just don't. Wow. Grab recently. Everybody knows these die cut cards are oh, really yeah. hard. I thought this Griffey was way nicer than a six, but I guess six is all that it gets. It looks a lot nicer to me. I don't know why it's only a six. Maybe it's centering. I don't know. Hard to tell on these cards. Never uh, submitted one before to know for sure. Here's a cool card, though. I pulled this out of a pack. 2012, the 87 knockoff tops minis. Griffey Jr. got a 10. Nice. Love that. 89 Flair Griffey rookie for a 9. 10 would have been better. Okay with a 9, though. I had picked up uh, this at uh, the 89, uh, the rookies, Donruss rookies. Um, I picked up like nine <clears throat> sets of these cards, and I cracked a few of them. Thought this one was a 10, and it is. Can't go wrong with the Griffey rookie in the 10. Can't go wrong with Griffey. Sharp card. Another one that's really difficult, 99 Upper Deck Holographics. Ooh. Got the treatment and then some. <laughs> that's only a five on the Griffey. I thought it was at least an eight. I was thinking eight, maybe eight and a half, something like that, but we'll... These shining cards. I guess, I guess we'll settle for a five. What happens to the guys who are we're, we're people from the 80s, cracking packs in the 80s. These, these 90, 90s cards are too shiny. Yeah. Next up, we've got a Roy Halladay rookie here. This is another one that I found out of the uh, yard sale collection, 98 Bowman. Thought it looked a little bit nicer than a nine. Thought it had an inside shot at a 10. I think it's maybe off a little bit left to right. The black's probably tough on the ball. And the black is probably tough as well. But still is a Halladay rookie. In a nine, I'm okay with that. Next, we got uh, 99 finest with the coating on it. CC CC Sabathia rookie. They got a nine. I'm good with that one. Those are tough cards as well, especially if they've still got the coating on them. Um, little insert here: 2001 Topps Gold Label. This is the Class One. Um, Ken Griffey Jr., of course, got a 9. I'm okay with a 9 on that one. Thought it might have an outside shot at a 10. A mm, little disappointed in this one. 2016, I pulled this one in 2016 out of a pack. Uh, Wilson Contreras, uh, rookie. 
got a nine. This one, very excited about this one. 89 Flair Randy Johnson, another one I pulled from a pack not too long ago, well, at least a year ago, with the ad completely blacked out in the background, but it got a 10. This card has been going up a little bit. It's cooled off a little bit now since everything is cooling off, but still great to have in a 10. There's another one, same card, ad blacked out, got a nine. Okay with a nine on it too. One of the most difficult sets out of the 80s. 89 Donruss, so hard to get tens on any card. This is the only 10 of any card I've ever gotten on an 89 Donruss <laughs> um, that I've ever submitted. And I haven't submitted very many because they all have issues somehow or another. They're, the quality control was really bad that year. Very, very they happy. Made, they made so many of them. Right? Yeah, that too. Yeah, Tons. something Yeah, something like a, mil, a million sets or something ridiculous like that. Very excited to get a 10 in that card right there. Big Randy fan. 88 Tops Ryan, Nolan Ryan, got a nine. I'm okay with that. Thought it was a little bit nicer, but it's a little bit low. Or excuse me, a little bit high, so not too bad. This was, these next uh, sets of cards coming up here were all tests. This is all stuff that came out of the yard sale stuff that I got. I had never submitted any of these cards before. All um, postcards and Jimmy Dean sausage and stuff like that. Um, some just some knockoff cards and stuff had no idea how they would get graded but uh, I, I pretty much I'm okay with any grade I get on these just because I'd never really even seen them before so here's a 90 post serial Bo Jackson got an 8 these cards are t just look like they're tough because they're very difficult I mean, like, look at that back it's just all red just ch you know the chipping right and those Jimmy Deans right the I'm not even sure why that doesn't get a little bit better other than maybe the centering's off a little bit on the front. I'm not really sure. It looks really, I mean, yeah, it, look, it, looks nice. it looks nicer than an eight to me, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Well, here's 91 Jimmy Dean sausage for those of <laughs> you that are breakfast fans out there. The Nolan Ryan got a seven. It is off center. It's off left to right. Still a really cool card. Um, glad to, just glad to have it slabbed, quite honestly. Um, there's Griffey Jr., same Jimmy Dean's got an eight. Very excited about that one. I thought it might do a little better than that, but it is low. Yeah. Jimmy Dean. Take you back to the five and nine, Jimmy Dean. That's right. 91 post serial, Tony Gwynn, got a seven. Another one I'm okay with. I mean, these are all Hall of Famers. These are all really super low pop sets. Another 91 post serial, the Rocket. Rocket gets a nine. Not sure why that gets a nine over some of the other ones getting sevens and eights. Uh, the centering is about the same. Maybe the corners are a little bit nicer. Look at the back. The back almost looks like the Hostess cards. Yeah, it does it look really like does. the Hostess like cards. The quality is, I mean, what's post, so it's... Yeah. But anyway, cool. Yeah. Just very cool cards. I was very excited when I came across these. All dirty. 2001 Upper Deck. Tiger Woods, not the true, true rookie, but still considered a rookie. Gets a 10. This is this a few months ago was a big card. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not nearly as big a card right now as it was about six months ago, but this is still a big card. Nice, nice. <clears throat> 98 Pinnacle Mint. Derek Jeter. This is the bronze. It's got the little bronze medallion in it. They also had silver. They also had gold. Um, I don't think any of them were ever really num were numbered or anything, but they're just the, the different colors. There were less of them made. Uh, the bronze is the most common. Got a nine with him going into the hall. More than happy with a nine. Really happy with this one too. I actually thought this one was more like an eight. Um, 96 tops, future star. Derek Jeter got a nine. Good card. Hmm. 99 Finest with the coating on it. Another Derek Jeter. Got a nine. Good with that. And the coating goes right over his face. Yeah, it does go right over his face, <laughs> but it also right it protects the, it protects those cards from scratches and dings <laughs> and somebody sticking a fingernail in it or whatever else. 96 upper deck these are the diamond destiny cards they had the little hologram picture of them in the center um this one got an eight i'm okay with that it's not the best grade in the world but it's a very difficult card with all the foil and everything on it as you can see 
the picture goes through to the back, the little hologram picture goes through to the back as well. What year was that one? Was that, was that 96 as well? It's the same card? Same card. Yeah, same card. Okay, so I put in another one. Here's another one. I, couldn't, I didn't remember. I put in two of them. But this one got a nine. Very excited about that. Super tough card with all that foil and stuff on it. Wow. Very excited about this as well. 97 Finest also has the coating on it. This is the Blue Chips. Jeter gets a 10. It's because the, the, the coating, it's not over his face. Right, yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> that's part funny. of it. Yeah, definitely part of it. 96 Flair Jeter right here. I don't think that's really considered a rookie, but it's close. Also gets a 10. Very happy with that since he's going in the hall. Yeah, 93, right? Yeah, but there were several different years. I mean, there's yeah. 94 rookies. He's there's so many that, that other one was a 96 Future Stars rookie. I know. <clears throat> there's 2000 Pacific Revolution Jeter. Got a nine. Another really difficult card. I'm oh, great with a nine. Pacifics are, t I like, there are so few Pacifics. That's why like the Pacific Tom Brady stuff. It's right. Pacific. There's not much of and these t cards are really tough on the back as well. They get a lot of chipping on the back. Um, it had a little corner issue, so I'm more than happy with a nine on that one. Um, here's a second one of the same card. Also oh, yeah. got a nine. Nice. Ninety-six Pinnacle Zenith. Tough card. Really tough card with a little bit of foil on it and the black all the way around. Got a nine. I'm happy with this one too. It's also got a lot of black on the back, so that's a, and and dark brown on the back. So it's a tough card to get a decent grade in. And I think <laughs> I picked this up on a, a proxy bid auction for like four bucks, and I think uh, a nine on that card is very nice. Oh, this is kind of surprising right here, and I'm happy with it. 2016 top series one Trey Turner rookie got a ten. It's a good car. Dirty. Uh, dirty. Very, uh, uh. very happy with this one as well. 2015 Series 2. It's the Jacob deGrom rookie. Or no, excuse me, second year. But it's the gold card. Got a 10. Nice. I uh, Very excited about I that. I think it's a pop one. Is it? Is that I, a pop one? I think one? it is a pop one. I, wow. I you know what? Up, I, think it I gotta is. take a break for a second, guys. I need my beer for that. The banquet. Let's, uh, oh, I can't check my phone because we're videoing with the phone, but I thought it was a pop one. Whatever it is, if it's not one, it's microscopic, the, pop, the 10 population. Well, oh, that's really cool. That's another card I pulled from a pack. God knows how many years ago, 15, 16. So, that's so nice. uh, 90 upper deck, Larry Walker. Got a nine, rookie. Thought it had a shot at a 10. Yeah, yeah. he was good, so good. <laughs> Such a good player. I already have a couple of these and a gold sparkle, but I'm very excited about this one. This is a 2012 Series 2 Mike Trout. Got a 10. George got a 10 on this card as well. I had the opening day. Ah, uh, he had the opening the day. The mini got an 8 and the opening day got uh, a 10, and then that's a 10. That's a great card. This is a great card. I have I have a couple other of this one in 10 and one of the gold sparkles in a 10 too. It's a, it's a tough card to get, and it's a, it never, never go wrong with second, third year Mike Trout. So we're going to go to a third year Mike Trout right here. 13 update. This is the one where he's batting. Also got a 10, very excited about that. Any trial cards and 10s, were about it. 2013 tops as well, series two, another trout. Also got a 10. Nice. On a run. <laughs> we're on a run, ladies and gentlemen. 2014 Bowman Mike Trout, also got a 10. It was just time to put some of these cards in, especially with Trout being, you know, everybody knows how good Trout is, whether he's hurt, not hurt, whatever else. 2015 Panini Prism. This is another one that I pulled from a pack as well. This is super difficult with how shiny it is, the, the silver on it and everything else. Also got a 10. Very excited about a 10 on that card. That's a super tough card to get a 10 on. Ah. Uh, this one I had a feeling would do exactly what it did. This is a 2013 Bowman draft picks and prospects. This is the future of the franchise mini blue refractor. Uh, Christian Yelich 
rookie. Um, very rare card. There's only like six of these graded, eight of them graded, something like that. I thought it had an outside shot at a 10, but it looked like it was a little bit low to me. Um, and it had a little corner issue as well. I'm more than happy with a nine on it just because of how rare of a card it is. Back to some more Upper Deck Golf. Another Tiger Woods, one of the incarnations of rookie cards of his, got a nine. I'm okay with that, these, these cards are all going up, whether he gets into crashes or not. There's another one, same card. Also got a nine. This is the stat leader card, same, same set, 2001. Also got a nine. Uh, this is a tough card. Pop is pretty low on this card. This is the this is the 2001 upper deck. This is the victory march. Um, I think it was because he won the Masters that year, if I'm not mistaken. If that was the if that was the year that he did that. It's it a, seems like he won the Masters like every year. Uh, yeah, almost every <laughs> year. It's a very tough card to get in a ten. Very tough. And it's pretty Are low. Are you gonna pop. double down on that? Uh, All right, here's another one. Same card, victory march. Double down, baby. Double down. Low pop card. Tough, another tough card to get in a 10 with that foil on the golf ball on the side of the card and stuff. That, Holy balls. Ooh, <laughs> just the way we like it. Ah, very happy with this one. 96 Skybox Z Force Kobe Rookie. That's a big card. Got a nine. This is a big, a card. big card. I think this is a pretty big card. 10's like 1500, or at least it was. Yeah, it may have gone down a little like bit. This, card. It's probably 300, maybe 350. Big card. Another Kobe, this second year Kobe. This is uh, 97 Fleer. This is the rookie Rewind. Also got a nine. Very happy with that. Second year Kobe and a nine. Ninety-seven Skybox Premium Timmy Duncan rookie. Got a nine. Very happy with that one. I had two of these. There's another one coming up next. Thought at least one of them had a shot at a ten. No such luck. Did get a nine though, I'm okay with that. This one gets an eight. Pretty okay with that too, actually. It's a tough card. Ninety-four finest, Dennis Rodman. This was more of a, a test card than anything else. I thought it looked nicer than an eight. Might be centering. It's like maybe the centering might be off just a little bit. It's so shiny. It's, it's because it's because the coating is over maybe his the coat yeah the coating is over his face over again that, that could very well be it it's the only consistent thing I can think of yeah this is definitely disappointing here we got a ninety three finest Hakeem got a six not sure why that only gets a six it's a little low in the centering but looked at least like an eight to me but we do have a second one of that card and it got a nine. Certainly happy with a nine and a Hakeem. 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 Happy with this one as well. That's a tasty one. This is a tasty card right here. It's off left to right for sure, but that was the only thing I was thinking that was holding it back from being a 10, and it looks like that was the only thing holding it back from being a 10. I got a nine. Second year, right? Yeah, yeah second year, Hakeem. Yeah, I watched one the other day get a nine go for 130. Oh. More than happy I was with that. On it, that's why I know. That's, uh, that Hakeem is just another card that I pulled from that huge yard sale lot that I bought like a year and a half ago. I've been going through cards for two years on that. <laughs> year and a half, two years. 90 Flair Jordan, got a nine. Centering. Yep, centering is the definitely the issue here. I'm still okay with a nine. Um, tens are still, even though things are down, tens are still going for 400, 450. 93 upper deck this is the hollow jams card very cool that's card shiny. it's very shiny and that's going to be a very tough card to get a 10 on i didn't think it was going to get a 10 it got a nine i'm more than happy with a nine on that card gotta love the little hologram yeah, i can't even see the in the video i see the hologram but i'm looking at it live it just looks like it's silver you know so cool very cool card <clears throat> okay with a nine on it another jordan 91 skybox jordan this is the uh, greatest moments from the NBA Finals card. Got a nine. I think this is probably another one that centering is an issue. It looks a little bit high to me. Hmm. Thought it had a shot. Still okay with a nine. Definitely okay with this card right here. 
Everybody knows how tough these cards are. This is the 96 Fleer Metal. This is the Metal Shredders. They didn't put it on the bottom of the, uh, underneath his name and stuff, but this is the Metal Shredders. This is an insert card. Um, got a nine. Still a pretty big card in a nine. Ten's a really big card. <laughs> it's so tough with the foil all over it. 91 Flair Jordan, just the, the base card, gets an 8. Probably the centering. These cards are really tough with centering and stuff. A little fat on the right. little fat on the right. Not okay with an 8. My own fault for putting it in. <laughs> However, this next card is a very cool card. This is a sample card. 98 SP, SP Authentic Jordan sample card, gets a 10. Nice. Not sure. I, I didn't think this card was going to get a 10. I thought it was nice, but I didn't think it was going to get a 10. I'll show you the back as well. It does say sample across the back of it. Very excited. Super low pop card, but these sample cards are always really low pop cards. Very excited about a 10 in that one. This was definitely a test card right here, and <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. 97 Bowman's best. Adrian Beltre rookie. Gets a 10. <laughs> nice. Talking about possibly putting that guy in the Hall of Fame. Hall of Famer. He played for 147 years, he so did. he should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, here's another one of the uh, 96 tops. Future star Jeter rookies. But this is the Team Tops. It's got the little Team Tops logo down here on the bottom. So this was uh, kind of like a gold foil, you know, gold medallion gold foil kind of a card it was an insert card gets a nine that's a low pop jeter rookie card and a nine 98 don ross preferred this is the preferred power card they didn't put that underneath his name either but this is a preferred power card it's a di it's a different than the base card um got a nine as well not a rookie still a tough card with all that foil on it very difficult Lots of nines to foil that's good though 97 tops, Jeter, got an eight. Rookie cup. Rookie cup card, that's why I put it in because of the rookie cup that's on it. But as you can see, the centering is pretty bad on that. It's pretty low and it's off a little bit left to right as well. So an eight is probably what I was expecting to get it when I put it in. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm completely speechless right now. Your last card. My last card, and George is, George is looking at me with this shit-eating grin on his face, and I know why. Um, this card, I bought a proxy bid auction off of a proxy bid auction somewhere in Ohio or something like that about a year and a half ago. This card was not even listed, but this <laughs> card came in what I bought. And this is the second year Jordan Flair sticker, 87 Flair Jordan sticker. And I looked at it and I thought, man, it's really nice. It's off left to right. But then I looked at every single one of them that's graded. Um, and all of the pictures on PSA's website for all of their eights and nines that are graded has had this exact same centering. I was not expecting more than like a seven on this card. Maybe if I was very lucky, I get an eight. <laughs> this card gets a nine. The card just paid for the whole submission. This card just paid for the entire submission. This is a big card, ladies and gentlemen. And I think, I think it's about a sixteen hundred dollar card. I think this card is like yeah. Right now, it, it was right now. Card. It was it yeah. It was it like maybe two grand to twenty two hundred well, twenty. I watched one go for sixteen hundred recently, like in a couple of couple days. Okay, yeah. you yeah, heard it right the there, ladies and gentlemen. Solution. George uh, George saw one of these go off uh, just in the last few days that went for 1600 This <laughs> pays for our entire submission right here for a card that I did not even know was coming when I bought a bunch of other cards. This card will be going into my safety deposit box. Get a good look at it now because <laughs> you may not ever see it again. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, That's I got, I got, I got some more, man. Yeah, George has some more, but this is the end of my submission. Thanks, guys. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Right? That's a big freaking car. <laughs> all right, guys. So I got 89 tops traded here. And just like Eric, I, I'm finishing up here. It's all football. Uh, Deion Sanders, Gem Mint 10. We had uh, bought a case, like you said. Um, this was just a, we hit big on this. Barry Sanders, 10. Another Barry Sanders in a 10. They were really nice to us on these, uh, and we went through these carefully. I mean, we're not, you know, we're looking for the best centered 
cards. Um, another 10. This was a big run in a row. Another 10. Um, Aikman, had to submit Aikman. 10 as well. Uh, and last Aikman was a 10. So, I mean, that's... Good that's, job. Right? That's wow. crazy. Um, what is that, like 10 tens in a row? Yeah, it's going to... And, go. and don't forget about the 87 third sticker Jordan that got a nine. <laughs> don't forget. So this was a cool card, Arch Rivals. I had busted, I had three factory sets of this 91 upper deck. And I just thought this was such a cool picture with two of the all-time greats, Derek, Derek Thomas and Barry Sanders. That got a 10. I was real happy with that. I submitted three cards, uh, six total cards in this set, and they'll be the last six. Um, that one got a 10. I submitted three of these. This one got a nine. Next one got a 10. Uh, then three Brett Favre rookies. Nine. Man, look at that look. He's pissed. So next card was a Brett Favre rookie again. Still looking pissed in a 10. And the last card of our submission, guys, was another Favre rookie in a 10. So 162 cards sent off in August. Got back uh, recently, about a week ago. So late June. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, the excitement is... You can cut it with a knife. So thanks uh, for watching it again. Um, have a great summer and keep collecting.